Hey guys, this is Maggie from Rock Paper Copy and in this video I wanted to tell you about cool new tool I am using for sending emails. So this tool is great for sending uh, individual emails but also for sending bulk emails and also for the newsletters. Mm, the advantage of this tool over other newsletter platforms is that it gives you more control over how frequently the emails are sent, meaning um, you can add a gap between each email being sent, which doesn't give your email address spammy feel. Because when I was uh, using MailChimp, and I was sending daily newsletters, as I still do with this tool. Mm, MailChimp, I noticed that my emails, um, my newsletters start and, uh, started dropping or started getting delivered to promotional tabs, to social tabs on Gmail or to pure spam. So mm, it's because um, I was sending so many emails at once um, spam filters started uh, started filtering my emails to the um, obviously hidden hidden tabs. So this this little tool uh, helped me avoid that. So this tool in question is called Gmas. It's a an extension for Gmail. You can get it on their website, and it's super super easy to integrate. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more smart tips on how to improve your e-commerce business. So simply go to gmas.co, so that it's G-M-A-S-S dot co and you simply add to gmail and integrate it it is free to start with free version allows you to send up to 50 emails per day so obviously it, it is great to start with but if you want to upgrade the pricing is very very uh, very reasonable uh, uh, pricing for individual obviously for for one for one team member uh, is 8.95 per month i believe it is in british pounds or it could be in us dollars i'm not sure uh, however, however it uh, it gives you unlimited use so unlimited number of emails and um Mm, what it comes is is this it comes with the Gmas footer, but it's really really difficult to see. It's really really tiny, so it's not an issue. So so it's really affordable and it gives you a lot of freedom. So I'll show you how to use it in your Gmail. So here you've got two icons that you can see. You can create a follow up to a previous campaign. Or you can connect the email list from your Google Docs spreadsheet. So this is really useful. And I'll show you how to how to design a new email. You design it as you would with Gmail. So simply click on Compose. And here you can see Gmas button next to normal um, send button. And with Gmas you can you can add so many different features to your email. So click on this drop down arrow and you can see what kind of features you've got you can uh, check the spam solver you can check if all the links in the email are working you can analyze your email you can also send test email Mm, you can choose from the previous campaign, so you don't need to, if you're sending a lot of uh, emails with the same content, you can simply copy and paste, it does it automatically for you. You can add unsubscribe link at the bottom, so I'll show you how to do it, I'll click at the bottom and now add unsubscribe link. So if someone wanted to unsubscribe, it makes your it makes your emails a little bit more, um, you know, more user friendly and helps you avoid any spam alerts or anything like that. Mm, okay, you can personalize by adding first name, last name, email address. You can track opens and clicks. And what I really like is that with schedule, 
you can schedule for any time you want for example in one hour and three hours tomorrow at eight and so on but also at custom date and time so you can choose at what date and time to send it obviously it is in your time zone so please bear it in keep it in mind if you if your clients are based all over the world so keep that in mind and what I really like is that you can pause between emails. That's the feature I told you at the beginning. So you can pause between like five to 10 seconds, 10 to 60 seconds. I pause between, I pause one to five minutes because it is maximum, maximum gap and it kind of gives you this, um, this kind of peace of mind that, um, that your email address won't be marked as spammy. And I'll show you how to uh, how to design an email based on a previous campaign. So click on Gmas drop down and select prior campaign. For example, this one. And the content is being pasted into the email automatically for you, which is excellent. So the subject line, the content, all of the artwork included, obviously the uh, uh, the signature stays as you as you did it beforehand and when you're ready simply add an uh, email address so I'll just send it like a test email and when you're ready click Gmas. What I also like about Gmas is that if you send a uh, an email to a number of recipients, to a number of people, they don't get this kind of CC BCC alert. The email the email uh, that they uh, receive looks like it was sent only to them. So uh, the recipient is only one, shows as only one email address in their inbox, which is which was really important to me because I didn't want to send emails with this kind of that they can see that this email was sent to hundreds of other people. So I wanted to give this kind of personalized personalized touch as well. So this that that's what's really appealing to me. Also, I'll show you how to send a follow-up campaign. So, um, from from Gmas website, they say it's not included in this kind of basic in this kind of basic package. However, I found a way um, the way around it. Obviously, it's not auto follow-up. However, you can send manual follow-ups, and I'll show you how to do that. So click on this icon here, send a follow-up campaign and choose which previous campaign you want to send it to. And you can see how many recipients there were. So for example, let's send it to this. You can also choose whether to send to um, people that only opened, people that didn't open, people that didn't click or simply send to everyone from this campaign and click Compose Follow-up. And then this email opens in a new window and you design email as you did previously and simply schedule with Gmas button. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more smart tips on how to improve your e-commerce business.